Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got a video for you about the new Elgato HD60 Pro. It was just announced a couple hours ago and it is a fantastic capture card. I've been fortunate enough to have this product for a couple of months now. I've been doing some alpha testing, some beta testing, some hardware testing, grinding this thing out and also making some fantastic videos in the process. It just launched, so today I just wanted to kind of make a promo video about the card. And of course, the gameplay that you're watching right now was recorded in 1080p 60fps on the HD60 Pro. To give you a brief overview of the card, it's an internal PCIe capture card, the very first from Elgato. All of the other ones were external, which means they ran on USB 2.0. This one you get to put inside your computer, which is very nice. We also have a few software enhancements. And all of this sums up to zero delay capturing and streaming, and that is a huge, huge thing for console gaming. All of the other Elgato capture card devices had some sort of delay or latency on them because they were external, which made it very difficult to stream. And I did several guides on how to set the delay, the voice delay, the webcam delay, how to modulate audio, how to do all this kind of different stuff. But now I don't have to do any of that because it is a zero delay capture card, and it is super easy to just kind of click stream and go live. That's one of the reasons I've been streaming more often, especially during the Black Ops 3 beta, and one of the reasons that my streams have fantastic quality. It just works really well, because of course it's 1080p, 60 FPS. I can crank it up to 60 megabit if I want to. I only did 10 for YouTube, because that's where YouTube kind of tops out at, but the quality on the streams are fantastic. If you don't believe me, you can click off this video and go check out any of my live streams to judge the quality, or you could watch any video on my channel, maybe for the last month, maybe any of these videos, because they've all been captured on the Elgato HD60 Pro. Capture quality is fantastic, that's one of the core reasons I'd use the device, and it's got some other nice features. These are a little bit more advanced, but they're fun. Number one is that you can now record while you play. And now this is for their software only, but in a couple of weeks it's going to be going live for both OBS and XSplit, so that you can say stream on XSplit or OBS, and you can save a recorded copy of that stream in the software itself. So you can do, like, if you want to edit it up, if you got a great clip but you don't want your webcam and stuff in there, you can just go back and save it like normal. That's going to be really, really dope when that comes out in a couple of weeks. It's already set up to where you can run them in series. I know some people that do this already. And if you're a little bit confused, like, a lot of people stream with a webcam. This is actually a webcam right up here. But some people prefer DSLR quality streams. Some people have more professional setups. I think Ali has a DSLR. Most of the big streamers have a DSLR or anybody that wants to go for super top-notch video quality, you can run these cards in sequence so that you can capture direct 1080p 60fps DSLR footage and stream that to on top of your gameplay or multiple gameplays if you're running a tournament or multiple any inputs. You can do a couple of PCs if you wanted to. Just anything that goes out through HDMI you can capture in series and do all sorts of crazy stuff with and it's less burdensome on your PC now that it's internal it doesn't have to do any sort of weird compressing or decrypting from the good old USB technology it's just right there straight to your motherboard straight to your processor and RAM works so much better than it used to. Everything about this card is designed to make streaming easy. Elgato always had the best actual quality and capture software for doing YouTubing for just capturing videos but they always struggled a little bit with streaming because of the delay. Well now they're gonna enter the streaming market with zero delay and I think you're gonna see a lot of people using the Elgato HD60 Pro. When it comes to downsides, as of now, there are surprisingly none, and I'm not saying that just because I'm sponsored by them, there really aren't any downsides. Very minor ones, like, because I'm testing things, I know that there are some really cool things coming later, software-wise, that aren't yet out yet. They'll be a month, you know, maybe two months out, so that's kind of a downside. It's a downside that you can't use it on a laptop because it's internal, it's a desktop device, but that's why they have the USB ones, and maybe a downside that you have to have two of them to run multiple HDMI inputs, but that's only reasonable, I would say. It's really very nice and very solid, and I've been very happy with my capture card. I've used it for, as of now, probably a hundred maybe even 120-ish videos that you've seen on my channel and all of the live streams. I literally use this card every single day that I live and I do highly recommend it. There is a link, there are two links in the description. One is to the Elgato website, so you can go check it out directly, all their stats, specifications, and all that stuff. And the second one is to Amazon because they don't do direct sales and Amazon will generally get you the lowest price. Guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.